At a breakfast hosted by the Greater Bethesda Chamber of Commerce, Maryland Governor Larry Hogan, a Republican, and Comptroller Peter Francho, a Democrat, sat down for a conversation that covered a wide range of important issues, from transit to starting school after Labor Day to liquor control. One of the first hot topics they wanted to talk about was Marriott. The fact that Marriott International is staying in Montgomery County and in the state of Maryland is an absolute game changer for this region. They're going to invest $600 million just in the construction, uh, 3,500 employees. Uh, the overall economic uh, benefit over 20-year lease is you know, going to be something over $20 billion. Um, we didn't want to lose them. Despite their party differences, the state leaders touted their working relationship throughout their discussion. And they both had shout outs for County Executive Ike Leggett. And I want to just uh, give a shout out to County Executive Ike Leggett and his team. They were incredible partners. Uh, we would not have been able to keep Marriott without the state and the county working together. In an election year that's been divisive nationally, their message was about the importance of respecting each other and working together to get things done. The comptroller just said maybe we should take the show on the road. Uh, I think he was talking about running around the country. I don't know about that, but maybe we'll just run around the state. I think it was a healthy discussion. We covered a lot of uh, the important issues, and I think we, you know, we found a lot of common ground. And the one thing that he and I strongly agree on is the fact that we should be working together and we shouldn't have all the partisanship and the fighting back and forth. We don't always agree, but we're not into tearing each other down and calling each other names and getting involved in all this partisanship and I think that's what people want. I think they really uh, touched on uh, a, a, a basic truism out there that our community uh, members want to see leadership, they don't want to see partisanship. It's, it's enlightening for all of us in the business community to see two of our top leaders in the state to be good friends but also working together. It gives you hope. Um, I think that's what a lot of people came up to me after the event and said one of the best events they've been to because it really made them feel good walking out knowing that we have these great leaders running our state and that they can work together across party aisles. In Bethesda, I'm Sonia Burke for MyMC Media.